Hi everyone. We have learned different kinds of animals and their reproduction. Yes. Today we learn about a new topic asexual reproduction. Okay. So when we start this chapter we discuss about reproduction are two types. First one is sexual reproduction and second one is asexual reproduction. So today we discuss about asexual reproduction. Okay. But this asexual reproduction is occur in small animals or microscopic animals. Okay. Huh? We already learned the names of that yeast. You know that. You know the name of yeast. You heard it. Yes. And today we learn about a small microscopic structures or organisms uh, examples the first one is hydra and the second one is amoeba okay hydra and amoeba so let's discuss about hydra okay first we discuss about hydra okay hydra Hy uh, sexual reproduction in hydra okay hmm? So, in this case, when we draw a picture of Hydra, it's a very microscopic structure. So, we need microscope or we all should observe through microscope. Totally, we can see the structure of Hydra. Okay. So, when we draw the structure Hydra, this is a young Hydra. So, at the time of reproduction, small bulges will form okay not only one any so the bulges emerge from the mature hydra and what happened later this again develop into a large or a mature form of hydra okay so this bulges emerged into a new individual okay this bulges divide and form a new hydra so this bulge or the buds this bulges called buds okay buds so this buds help to develop a new individual this kind of reproduction is called asexual reproduction why it is called asexual reproduction what's the difference between sexual and asexual reproduction in sexual reproduction two parent involved or involved in that particular process yes and the sex part of that uh, particular organisms or the gametes fuse uh, to form or uh, together the male and female gamete fuse and form the next generation but in the case of asexual reproduction asexual asexual reproduction here only one parent participate or involved in this process okay only one parent there is no male and female only one parent involved in this reproduction okay that's why it is called asexual reproduction hmm? so in this case of hydra small bulges bower bulges emerge from the mature hydra and after that this bulges develop into a new individual this bulges is called buds so this Buds are formed and buds again divide into form a new individual at last. It detached from the mature hydra and it will leave an individual hydra. Okay. So this kind of reproduction is called budding. Okay. Budding. Okay. This kind of reproduction is called budding. Okay. Let's see how this a sexual reproduction occur in Hydra. And we move to 
the next one. Next example is amoeba. Okay. Okay. Amoeba is the second example. So here, amoeba case we know is a irregular in shape. There is no any structural variation or any feature. It's irregular in shape. We know centrally nucleus will be the hmm? so the first division occur inside the amoeba is this nucleus is divided into two okay this nucleus the first one nucleus is divided into two okay and this nucleus division after that or along with the nuclear division this body parts also divide into two okay the body parts also divide into two and each body consists of one nucleus okay so the single nucleus divided into two and again after the nuclear division the body divide into two okay and form a new two individual okay form a new two individual hmm? in this case we know that what yeah one individual is divided into two new individual okay hmm? this kind of asexual reproduction is called binary fission okay binary binary fission binary fission okay amoeba asexual reproduction occur through binary fission process in the case of hydra hydral asexual reproduction occur through budding process okay so today we learn about hydra asexual reproduction in hydra and amoeba it's very simple because in the case of hydra uh, yes this reproduce through a budding process and in amoeba this reproduce through binary fission process okay so please study well hmm? and um, uh, please study well this two process budding and binary fission okay so uh, please watch this video have a nice day thank you